In this video, let's see the quotient rule. The quotient rule is an important rule which you have already studied in your class 11. This is just the recapitulation of it. You know that the quotient means the division. And in case of division, suppose we have two functions, one function in the numerator, another function in the denominator, and you have to take the derivative of it or the differentiation you have to do. How to do it? Let's see. It says quotient rule, if u and v are two differentiable functions such that v is not equal to 0. That means, suppose you have u upon v, that means numerator upon denominator and you know it will be defined when the denominator should not be equal to 0. That means v is not equal to 0, right? Then what happens? Then d by dx of u by v, that means if you have to differentiate u and v with respect to x, how to do it? The formula goes u dash v minus u v dash whole upon v square and dash represents the differentiation that means v dash means differentiation of v. Now you must be thinking why only with respect to x? Why not differentiation with respect to y? Simply speaking here I have assumed that u and v are functions of x, u and v are functions of x. That means it is the case such that d by dx of fx upon gx where u represents your fx and v represents your gx then it will be what kind of a formula u dash v that means u dash v minus u v dash minus u into v dash whole upon v square and v square means you do not have to take the differentiation of the denominator here at least and you have to just square it. Suppose I need to see a question, let's see a numerical example, although we have already seen such kind of questions in our class 11. I will say only one question, d by dx you have to compute of e raised to the power x upon sin x, say this is the question. Now what is your u? u means the numerator, what is your v? v means the denominator. d by dx of e raised to the power x upon sin x, it will be u dash v. So u dash v minus u v dash u into v dash, although do not write an exam this manner, don't write sin x raised to the power dash because it doesn't mean anything as such, it is better you write this convention d by dx of sin x. Just to save our time we are writing this convention right upon v square. Now e raised to the power x, what is the derivative of e raised to the power x with respect to x? It is e raised to the power x only. You see that e raised to the power x dash means what? It means d by dx of e raised to the power x. And what is the differentiation of e raised to the power x with respect to x? It is nothing but e raised to the power x. Sin x is as it is. So it is u dash v minus u v dash. What is u? e raised to the power x. What is v dash? What is differentiation of sin x with respect to x? It is nothing but cos x whole upon v square. That means sin square x, right? Now what you can do is just to simplify it, you can take things common. What comes out as common? e raised to the power x is common. Inside you are left with sin x minus cos x and whole division will give me what? Sin square x. Now even if somebody wishes to may not take this out as common but in subjective papers this may deduct your half of one mark. So better simplify to the last step. So this video focuses on quotient rule. We understood how to compute quotient rule easily.